Welcome back to Staying Fervent. I'm Tracy, where we encourage you to stay fervent in God. Thank you so much for tuning in today and staying fervent with me. I want to encourage you today on what God meant when he said, my grace is sufficient for you. God told Paul in 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, he told him, my grace is sufficient for you, Paul. In essence, God was telling Paul that his goodness, his grace, his strength was enough for him. Paul wanted the thorn in his side to be removed. He said, I prayed to God three times to have this thorn removed and he has not removed it. But instead, he told me that his goodness, his grace is sufficient for me. God was saying his goodness is enough. His strength is enough. Instead of taking the thorn away, God replenished Paul with his strength. And so that's what God wants to do for us. Sometimes we pray and wonder, why hasn't God taken this away from me? Why hasn't God removed this thing away from me? Why God hasn't taken this thorn away? Instead of taking it away, God instead shows up with his strength. He'll show up and give us joy. And he'll show up and give us strength. He'll show up and give us peace. You ever notice when you go through that trial and that situation and you find yourself in that weakness, but yet you get strength from somewhere. You get joy from somewhere. That's God making his grace sufficient. Instead of taking the thorn away, God says that when that weakness show up, I'll show up. I'll show up with whatever you need. I'll show up with my joy. I'll show up with my strength. I'll show up with my peace so that you won't have to make it through alone. And when God told Paul this, Paul said, now I rejoice in my weakness because when this weakness shows up, I know that Christ's power is going to show up. Isn't that powerful? And when God shows up with his peace for us, we know that he has answered our prayers. We can see that he never left us. We can see that he heard us. Scripture says that God's ways are not our ways and that his thoughts are not our thoughts. But we can be guaranteed with this, that God shows up for his children. So don't think that God hasn't showed up. He was with you the whole time. He just came in in a different way. I just want to remind you today that we serve a God who shows up for us, even in the midst of our weaknesses. Be encouraged today that God's goodness, his strength, his love, and his joy, it is more than enough for us. Thank you so much for joining me today. I pray you were blessed and encouraged by this word. I pray you have an amazing day and a blessed week, and I'll see you next time.